Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am going to make a fruity soap um, using this fragrance. It's called Sweet Juicy Pear from Wholesale Supplies Plus and it smells really, really nice. It's kind of, it is, it's sweet and it smells just like a pear, a nice like Bartlett pear or something. I love pears. <laughs> it says it discolors to yellow and that's gonna be fine. Um, one of the things that I'm gonna do today is I'm going to water discount and I got this little baby food. I, you can make your own fruit puree. I'm a little bit lazy and I was at the store and I saw this and so I got some pear and the, and the ingredients are pear puree, uh, and lemon juice concentrate and a little bit of lemon juice is to stop it from browning so it's not going to affect the lye the acidity um, that's a whole other subject but pear puree it's basically a pure pear pure pear puree boy that's a tongue twister pure pear puree <laughs> you try and say it <laughs> anyway for the colors today let's move on um i was thinking pears and i typically think with the yellow when they're really ripe a little bit of a green tinge unless you get um what are the red ones au jus au jus am i saying that right anyway i'm thinking of like just a regular bartlett pear so i am going to use matte yellow oxide it's just a really you know basic yellow and of course the fragrance discolors to yellow. I may add some TD to the uncolored portion, but so we'll do a little yellow swirl in there. And then I have this Hello Spring from Nurture Soap. Isn't that cute? It's bright and it just, I thought these two colors looked really happy together and pear and oh, it just smells juicy and good. And uh, so this is gonna be a coconut milk soap. Uh, I just was thinking of the foodie theme. I will do the milk in oil method for coconut milk and I'll talk you through that as we go. Um, let me get everything pulled together, get my hair pulled back and like, let's make some pear, <laughs> pear puree soap. All right, I've got all my oils and butters melted and ready for my additives that I add to the oil portion which is kale and clay, two tablespoons of kaolin, and two tablespoons of colloidal oats. And this is a milk in oil method. So here is my creamy pure coconut milk, which I think is just so luscious. Uh, it's got enough milk sugars to help really give it a nice bubble boost. Um, sugars are a lather booster. So that's why I add sugar to my lye solution and anytime you add milks to your soaps that also amps up the sugar content and it just creates a creaminess. So let me get these blended in and then we'll get moving forward. All right, I'm almost ready to add my lye solution in, but I wanted to show you real quick, uh, if this fragrance is behaving, I wanted to use my frosting comb and do a couple of layers just to add some fun interest into this. So if that's behaving, we'll do that. If not, we'll just swirl it and get it in there. I'm gonna save off my little pear puree here until after I get the lye uh, mixed in and emulsified. Then I will add the fruit puree because again, we've got the coconut milk sugars and the fruit puree is going to be pretty much sugars so got a lot of sugars going on so I just want to proceed with caution and I've not used this fragrance before so I'm holding that off until I get my colors split off so all that just you know one step at a time as we move forward here so this is my steeply discounted lye solution which has cane sugar tussa silk and sodium lactate And I'm just going to stir and pulse until I get emulsion. go you can see it start to turn caramel as the sugars are reacting with the lye which is great that means we've got emulsion going
next day. It's been about 24 hours and I'm anxious to get in here and see what we've got going on the inside. I think with all the sugars going on, this thickened up really quickly. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it was a lot of sugars going on. I could actually feel the batter heating as I was mixing. So it was still workable. We got it in the mold. I hope I don't have too many air pockets. But um, let me tell you, for the gilding on top, I, for my gilded pair here, this is some uh, bronze mica in isopropyl alcohol. And I just keep this and then I stick the straw of my spritzer in there and spritz the top. So that is how I got the glaze on the top of this soap. Um, I'm very curious to see. I did get that one bottom layer down, but then it wasn't so firm when I poured on, so I have a feeling that um, the batter broke through, and so <laughs> it could just be a crazy mess in there, or it could be pretty swirly. Only one way to find out, and that's to get in there. Let's get into cutting these. I'm going to cut off my little end piece here that I put in my sample packs. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little modely looking, but I, um, I'm really glad there's not too many air pockets so far. That's a good sign. Um, this smells really good, so that is also a good sign. Let's see. Oh yeah, all right, you can see a little bit of the mica line there. Um, that green is very light. I only had a little bit left, so I just used what I had. Loving the gilded tops. So yeah, it wasn't exactly what I was envisioning, but I think these are beautiful. And the little speckles in here are from the pear puree. Let's keep cutting here. Um, so anyway, when you're using uh, milks, and there's sugar in the lye and a fruit puree. That's a lot of sugar, uh, which I think was, you know, a good portion of why this accelerated. Um, the fragrance did have good reviews. So I was soaking at cool temperatures, um, probably about 80 to 85 degrees. My basement is very cold, but my, usually my oils and lye are about 80 to 85 when I like to blend them. So the temperatures were cool, but like I said, I could feel it heating up in the pot. Um, but I think it's worth it actually because you know it's really fun to have these additives in your soap the sugars I think the fruit purees make a really wonderful soap it's it's kind of a novelty it's cool um, plus I really love uh, the coconut milk and anything that adds sugar is going to be a lather booster and I personally love big you know, bubbly, thick lathers <laughs> on my soap. So anytime you have a sugar, that's going to be um, helping with that. But overall, I'm really happy. I think these are kind of groovy. And I actually think they look very pear-ish colored. Uh, so I'm really happy with the colors that came out. 